Welcome to Quack Co, the board game channel where every video is 10 minutes or less guaranteed and today we're talking about Brandon Sanderson because I have started reading through his novels. Here in front of me I have the Reckoner series, I also have uh, the Stormlight Archives, The Way of Kings, and moving on to book number two which is Words of Radiance and I am absolutely head over heels and in love. This is actually the first thousand page book I've read in in probably 10 maybe 15 years I don't even think I read something this big through college and I adore it trust me this is amazing now why am I talking about this well for a few reasons first off I want to see if our community is interested in conversations that hit nerd culture but are adjacent to the larger board game space but along with that I did just pick up a copy of The Reckoners, and The Reckoners is the board game adaptation of the novelization by Brandon Sanderson, which we will be covering down the road. But before we get there, I need to talk about Brandon Sanderson. I discovered his works through the Kickstarter that he did. We, we work in the Kickstarter marketplace, and Brandon Sanderson released earlier this year the single most successful Kickstarter project to have ever graced the platform. Thousands and thousands of people spent tens of millions of dollars to buy books that they had no idea about. That's the weird part for me. And I backed it all in, of course, and I did so with the knowledge that I needed to start reading his stuff in the process or in the anticipation of getting those books. I like being part of big things. I, I like uh, the adventure and the joy of backing and being there, but I also wanted to be able to talk about it and cover it on the channel. And, uh... Let's just say that was a incredible decision, one of the best I've made this year. So Brandon Sanderson just created, over the course of the pandemic, so something like five surprise books just out of nowhere, and he shocked the world and the writing community with it. And his audience went crazy and had to have expanded because I'm sitting here, right? Uh, and on the back of that, I started going through his novels. Now, I tried reading The Way of Kings first through audiobook, which has been my primary reading platform. Audible.com has been my primary reading platform for a long time. I like reading. I just don't always have the time or the interest to sit down and focus on it. I, I, I read slow, and I've always, you know, preferred listening over actually sitting and reading. And uh, this was not very good in audiobook. There's, there's too many moving parts. It took a long time for me to absorb into the story and get myself hooked where I was, but I was committed to reading this because I'd heard so many people talk so highly about it. So instead, I picked up a few audiobooks first. I, I started with uh, Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarians, which was an amazing little intro, kind of a family weight novel, and as I fell in love with that, I started picking up and reading The Way of Kings. The Way of Kings is probably one of the best fantasy series I've read in ages. It keeps you hooked, it's grounded, everything feels like it connects well together. I just cannot speak highly enough, and I don't want to spoil anything about what's happening here, uh, but you're set in this sort of magical fantasy realm where there's a lot of discoveries to be made in this, this universe where there's so many things that are unturned, and Brandon, in the way that he writes, keeps you tied into that story. In, in fact, one of the things I was frustrated with about from the very beginning was He'll get you hooked on a character, and then he'll change characters. And I'll get frustrated because I'm like, I don't want to read this other... I want to I stay with the character you made me fall in love with already. And then within a chapter or two, he has me falling in love with this next character. And, I, and I'm sitting there going, great, now you're going to switch me back. And he does. And he switches you back and forth between characters that you absolutely adore and that you're invested in. So, uh, then, on a long road trip, I started and picked up... The Reckoners, and I listened to, I've listened to the first full books already, Steelheart and uh, Fire, Fireflight. Uh, Calamity, I have not gotten to yet, um, but The Reckoners is sort of like the boys in a book version. You're hunting down and taking out superheroes who are malicious and malevolent and evil, and it's really good. It's a fun play on that uh, kind of superhero universe. And on the back of finishing this, I just picked up the next in the series, which I don't know anything about so far, but I am going to be starting immediately on the back of this being completed. And then on my phone, 
I have a pile of stuff. I have Fireflight, I have Mistosis, I have Steelheart, I have Calamity, I have Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarians, I have The Final Emperor, Empire, Skyward, I have Alcatraz vs. the Shattered Lens, which is the second one, Alcatraz vs. the Knights of Callistia, which is the third one, Alcatraz vs. the Scrivener's Bones. If you can tell, I really liked that series. I have The Way of Kings, which I don't think I'm going to listen to, I think I'm just going to read that series. I have Words of Radiance, which is this one right here, uh, and I think it's, I have a lot of other, uh, I have a lot of other books, uh, Red Rising, Golden Sun, Morning Star. Those are the ones that I would have read before this. And I love those as well, but yeah, I'm, I'm sold. The next year or two or three is going to be spent reading and pretty much primarily reading everything that Brandon Sanderson has put out. I am committed to this journey, and I'd love to continue this conversation, like a mini little Quack & Co. style book club or something. Let me know if that's of interest to you. Let me know if you're a fan of of Brandon Sanderson, and let me know what other books I should pick up immediately or next. Uh, yeah, that's that's the conversation. I, I just wanted to share my joy with you. Oh, and I'm excited to dive into this. I'm excited to check out and see how you bring a board game and move it into a, uh, or bring a book or a novel and move it into a board game adaptation. I don't know yet, but I know I'm a fan, so I hope I love it just as much. With that, I'll see you later. Remember, less time watching means more time playing. This has been a Quack & Co. production.